What's up, guys? DMG Tech Show. I'm your host, Jonathan Parkinson. In this episode, we're going to do a quick overview of the Pebble smartwatch app. Now, this app, as you can see, is called Hello, or at least it has a Hello bubble. You can find that in the Play Store. Just simply type in Pebble, and you will find it. Should be the first results. Now, when you get it opened, it's going to come similar to this, if you haven't already opened it. Uh, now, again, it's probably going to ask you to connect to your Pebble Watch first, so go ahead and do that. Uh, if it does not ask you to do that and you are not connected to your Pebble Watch, you just want to come up and touch the top left corner. You want to touch where it says Pebble AF36 for me. It'll say something different for you. And you're just going to come in here and click Find a New Pebble on the very, very bottom right here. Uh, you can press Tap to disconnect if you want to disconnect your Pebble, as well as kind of see which software version is going on right there for you. Now, going ahead and pressing that top left corner again, you can come back in here, and this is going to be your drop-down menu, or sorry, your slide-out menu. And we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. So on the bottom, the support, this is where you're going to see, as you can see, you can check for your updates, uh, as well as find some useful information in some communities that might be uh, a good place to go if you need to check out some, uh, or sorry, if you have any questions, ask anybody. Now, go ahead and stepping out of that, we're going to go into our settings. Now, this is where you're going to be setting up all your stock information. And when I say stock, I mean the stock applications that come pre-installed inside of your Pebble. Uh, so, such as the very top, we're going to look at the Bluetooth. This is going to be, you know, if you're working with whatever uh, paired device is working with your Pebble watch. Now, you can have multiple Pebble watches compared to a single device. Uh, so that could be good if you are, let's just say you have a steel and a st uh, standard pebble. Maybe you have one for an elegant view. I don't know. Just whatever the reason is, that's going to be there for you. Um, coming back out of it, uh, notifications. This is going to be all your third-party notifications as well as your normal notifications. So uh, as you can see, it says, you know, send always send notifications, third-party notifications, incoming call, SMS, blah, 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 all the way down here. Um, personally, I don't use the majority of this. Even though it's all checked, I actually have it disabled on my actual watch. Again, that'll be in another video, which I'll show you some third-party applications that, in my opinion, kind of get your notifications to you a little bit better. And when I mean better, it's a little easier to read, as well as you get more options to deal with that exact notifications. Uh, coming into the next is going to be the music. Now, you can come in here and you can select a single music app, which you want your uh, the music application on the Pebble Watch to control. Again, just like the notifications, I actually use a third-party uh, music uh, app for the Pebble Watch. Uh, the reason is, is because it's it can actually deal with all of these inside of one application instead of me having to pick and choose a single one. Again, that'll be probably in the third video that I'll make for this. Uh, collect use, uh, usage logs. That's probably going to be checked uh, for the Pebble team to get some, you know, basic fundamental logs from you to see kind of what works, what doesn't work, what's smooth, just to improve the product if you wanted to do that. Uh, developer options, if you have this, it's going to come pre-unchecked. So if you check it, that means that you're probably using another application that's asking you to check it in order to give it uh, the option to use certain features. Uh, it is open source as well as there's the version on the bottom. Now coming back into your pullout bar, we're going to go into uh, the developer. Now this is where you're going to be dealing with your developer. Now I have it disconnected. It's going to be for people that are doing uh, applications working on some heavier stuff. Uh, for the average user, the typical user, you're probably never going to deal with any of this stuff so you really don't need to worry about it. If you do need to deal with it, chances are you know, already know what you're doing to work with it. Uh, coming up to now get apps. Now get apps and get watch faces. Both of these are going to be considered, I guess, a its own store. So like we have the Google Play Store for our Android apps or the Amazon Store, whatever store you use, or the iOS um, iTunes Store for you uh, Apple users. Uh, this is going to be you know, just the store within a store for it. So as you see here on the very, very top, we're going to have you know, six different uh, sections to choose from. Uh, the dailies, which means you know, your weather, your email notifications, just things that you're going to typically use on a daily on a daily basis. That's what's going to go under daily. Uh, notifications is going to be any type of notification you can receive. Uh, sometimes there's, you know, if you're maybe a fan of uh, K9, the Meb, uh, sorry, the uh, email app, you can go in there and there's a K9 or it's, I think it's called K9 to Pebble, uh, which you can get that and it's going to set forward all your K9 emails to it 
uh, to your actual Pebble Watch. Health and fitness speaks of it is games. Remotes. Remotes are going to be for maybe if you want to control a VL VLC player or something similar to that. That's where you're going to go in there. And tools and utility. Tools and utility are going to be your basic, you know, calculator, um, just all those type of stuff. You know, your, your very your basic fundamental stuff. Which again, some of these apps you can find all kind of synced into one. Some some developers have actually put a lot of these apps into one single app. So if you wanted a calculator, a compass, a flashlight, uh, find my phone, there are applications that have all that into one. So don't think you just need one to have that, uh, have one of those features inside of your Pebble watch. Uh, so as we, as we all know, or all of Pebble users should know that you only get eight slots on your watch. So it's kind of, you know, you kind of want to be a smart how you're using those uh, each each watch space, even though I believe I always have an empty watch space on purpose. Uh, so these are, you know, broken down on the bottom just for all apps, most loved apps, Pebble Essentials, and weekly top picks. Uh, these change from time to time, not really too much, especially the most loved apps. It seems like these are all going to be the top ones. Uh, for Run Keeper, sorry, Run Keepers, what I want to say real quick is this is actually a really good app to run on your Android device. Uh, I'm running on Android. I'm, I'm not 100% sure on Apple devices, so I don't want to comment on that. Uh, the reason is, is you can actually use it on your Android device, and you don't need to use a slot on your watch. So when you run it on your Android device, or your supposedly, maybe, possibly, on your iOS device, a watch face will pop up automatically on your watch, but it won't actually take up a slot. So it's really, really nice for you guys that are uh, doing a lot of health and fitness type stuff. Now coming into the Get Watch Faces, this is going to be similar to the applications that we just saw. Uh, it's going to be broken down into, I believe, four different categories once it loads. Come on. All right, there we go. Sorry, a little bit of slow internet connection. Uh, as you see, the top is just your typical, you know, just kind of featured now, I guess you'd call that. All, wait all watch faces are going to be below that. Most loved watch faces and Pebble picks. So that's going to be from the Pebble team. Um, yeah, these definitely most loved watch faces, I can agree, are definitely some of the ones I see the most. Again, the great thing about Pebble is you can create your own watch faces, which we will do in a later video, probably in the fourth or fifth video, uh, once I've gotten all the essentials covered. Uh, My Pebble. My Pebble is going to be everything your Pebble. So those first two, which is apps and get watch faces, are going to be based on uh, just, um, sorry, uh, blanking out there are going to be for you know finding the applications and stuff that you're working for uh, whereas this is going to be all kind of your stored information now on the very top on your my pebble you're gonna this is where you're gonna load all your applications uh, so if I come in here and I touch one which these are stored in my locker uh, what what means what it means to be stored in your locker is it actually means that you do not have it uh, you actually have it sort of saved as like a favorite, I guess you'd call it. So it's easy to find it really, really fast. You don't have to worry about going and, you know, hunting through all the applications to find your app once again. So you don't necessarily need to keep it stored on here. So these are all the apps that I have currently stored on mine. Uh, you're going to see that some of them pop up with a little settings button there. Uh, what that little settings button is telling you is that you can go into that watch face or that app directly from here and manipulate it. So if you know you need to change your language, uh, to whatever it's going to be, as well as if you're, you know, want to use GPS, use a direct location, use Fahrenheit or Celsius, if you want to invert the colors. Now again, each one's a little bit different, so don't think just the settings that you saw right there is going to be applied to every single settings that you see. Uh, another thing that you're going to see is if we scroll up, is the word get comp or sorry, the three words get companion app right there. Uh, what com get companion app means is if I backtrack out of here, is such as these right here. Uh, these are kind of the third-party notifications, so you're going to need these applications in order for it to work on your Pebble Watch. Uh, majority of them are free, but some of them do cost some money here, and so I will go through those in a later video and tell you kind of which is and which isn't worth the purchase, in my opinion. And so that's just kind of the basic fundamentals of how that works. Uh, that's just you know the basic, again, the basic layout of how the Pebble Watch application works. Uh, you do need this, again, to run your Pebble smoothly on your uh, watch. Otherwise, if you just have it on there, all you're going to see is the time, I believe, the time and date. And you can preset that on your watch. So you don't necessarily need this to work. 
but if you want to install any watch faces or applications you will need this Again, if you do have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the section below. As always, don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.